，就是大约在一个月左右时间。我们的消化系统的细胞代谢大约是一周四四到七天，是吧？那么脂肪代谢的周期呢，也就一个月左右。当一个人做剧烈运动以后啊，会产生大量的脂肪消耗。这个消耗过程当中，那么肌纤维能不什么时候再出现反弹，或者是肌纤维形成了以后，脂肪能不能反弹啊？怎么也得在两个月到三个月左右的时间，因为肌纤维，我们一个人的肌腱受到损伤以后，它的萎缩时间一般在三个月以上。对。所以说这个期间，他说这个脂肪经过这种处理了以后啊，三个月以内没有反弹，应该是成立的。成立的。OK。Yes. Any more questions? Okay. okay. So let's continue. Uh, certificates. He has FDA. You can see that's my name here. FDA the uh, Yeah. Uh, I did the application. I had to deal with them for two years. Um, we have, of course, the, uh, certi the ISO, which is the certificate of the manufacturing in the UK. Okay. And we have the C mark again from the Okay. Now, how did it start? I already told you that it started with a pacemaker. You know, they developed the pacemaker. The pacemaker is the first device. That signals is the first signaling device that mimics the signal of the pacemaker cells. 对，这个是第一个信号的那个。他先发明起步器，然后再发明这个仪器，因为起步器里面它有信号。嗯，对。Now since then, there is several Nobel prizes that deal with the signals. One is 1998, 1999. There is a lot more, of course. I don't want to spend too much time on them. And then basically, after all this signaling thing started, people started asking the question, can you unboil an egg? Once your egg is boiled, there's a chemical reaction. The proteins inside the egg are denatured. They are not uh, um, alive anymore, pretty much. So can you do that? And the answer is, can you unboil an egg? Who, who can say, yes or no? Yes, no? What do you think? What do you think? Can you unboil an egg? So the thing is so. The answer is yes. Yes, you can. And basically you can by refolding the protein. So it's a very laborious uh, process, but we can do it today. And this is the first evidence. And this is basically a new path towards the cancer treatments because cancer is a chemical reaction where the proteins they are light proteins, our proteins are no longer in those cells. They have different um, things. And this is the press release, um, uh, the uh, cells tool for DNA repair. And that's another Nobel Prize that basically they, they're looking at reducing certain mechanisms in the body in order to kind of uh, enhance signaling in other mechanisms in the body. I don't want to get into all this. It's uh, too, uh, too molecular biology. Anyway. anyway, so basically what it can do, as you can see, this one is a new technology. And the button that we have in the body, my machine that you see upstairs, it has uh, numbers. This one just says deeper muscle, cross mm -hmm. over around. Oh, sorry. No, you used it. Oh, you used it. And then these are fat. And then on the other side, uh, he, uh, he's going to say subcutaneous fat, uh, detox, and skin tightening. Okay? So it does all kinds of things. So you can do it. Thank you. Sorry. It seems to be more professional. Then I'm going to... 用它这个呃呃自己的形状啊，那这个呢其实是它呃现在最新的那个呃呃部分啊。那第一呢就是减去那个内脏的脂肪，那另外一个就是排毒，增加它的血液循环。那第三呢就是呢加强那个性功能，呃，减减少了你的呃那个饥饿感啊。Okay, very important thing is that increases sexuality. 那非常重要就是增加那个。它会增强你的心动。OK， 好，好，好，好，那就好。Yes， 你的妹妹，来，你的妹妹，对，对，你聪明，你聪明，你聪明，你聪明。那怎么样去 ？OK，Let's start with the visceral fat. This is what the part. 先看一下内脏脂肪啊。
Okay, the visual part cannot be removed by laser or some radio frequency. Okay. The okay. thing okay. is, yeah. it because basically the fat, uh, what it does, it invades the muscle. You know, when you take a piece of meat, you see that it's invaded, and also it invades your vital organs. That's why the fatty liver he is heavier than the regular liver, because it has fat in it. This is what it does to your heart. So obviously, is this person going to live as long as this person? No, this person is going to die much earlier. So your longevity is... Yeah, I mean, the longevity... Well, unless they have fantastic genes. Um, okay, so so working out in the gym after 45 is not going to get you things. <laughs> it's going to get you this. Okay, why? Because you're gonna, you cannot work in order to get to work out to the level that you burn your visceral fat. Is it's literally possible for someone over 45? So they get the muscle, but so the is still there. Okay? There is another problem with exercise. I mean, what does it do? You know, the low is low. Cortisol, when you, when cortisol and testosterone have an inverse relationship, when cortisol goes up, testosterone goes down. So when you're over exercising, your cortisol will go up. And your testosterone will go down. And because your testosterone is down and your cortisol is up, you're gonna start getting more weight. Your mood is gonna be bad and your sexuality will go down. Okay? Understand? And of course you're gonna have the lactic acid dose we spoke about here. Okay. So 这个是有医学的医学证据的 this is an earlier study that uh, Jerry studied in uh, London University we did together and basically we looked at cortisol before and after the treatment and as you can see, there is no significant difference between the before and after the cortisol. Okay. See, therapy actually was less afterwards. Okay, it's really insignificant. This is your cortisol. This is your study. Yes. With your machine. Yes. They used their own work. They did a clinical study. It's a clinical study. It's a clinical study. So you see like 13, it went to 12, and then, you know, it went to 12, but it's really not, it's not significant. Uh, 10 to 10.8, again, it depends on the day. If it was done, it would be a clinical study, and it would be a clinical study, and it would be a clinical study. 它就是它的皮质就是比较低嘛，它的变化比较低。但是从经济学来说，它是这一块的变化是没有任何意义。是statistically speaking, this one doesn't is not significant. Like the p value is not. It the p value is rubbish. It's not even close to this. Okay, good. That's why you want. Okay, so we did a study recently in Hong Kong, and we had eight subjects: four male, four males, four females. And we did the virtual gym, actually we used the machine that I have here, and three weeks. And what we found is a 
cholesterol. No, the bad cholesterol, cholesterol, look at this probability, 99.99% of the people, one in a thousand is zero ten zero 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 And then the 3P3 increase significantly increased. That's metabolism. So your metabolism goes down, your cholesterol goes down. That is, we tested cholesterol immediately after the treatment that you don't normally do because you cannot see a difference. And it was a huge difference. And um, HDL, this is the level. Can they stop this noise? Um, 80% of the You can raise it, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the bamboo Rahotamanda 所以他说的这一块的增强他要把增强 and uh, this is another study that we did, and we looked at 3D3 again levels, uh, 0 0.01 in this particular one. Uh, we looked at triglyceride levels. Triglyceride was increased to 0 0.01. This is consistent with the VLDL because the VLDL carries uh, triglycerides, that particular cholesterol, okay? And there was an improved sexual performance that the subjects uh, reported. And uh, we found uh, visceral fat decrease 0.01 significant. That is a potential rise. Okay, so that is a very valid result. And um, we saw an uh, uh, increase in muscle mass. Again, very significant. Okay. Can we, can we go back like, to the previous PPT? Yeah. yeah. The one where you talk about yeah, this one. triglyceride and uh, like the good level of the cholesterol. Yeah. No, that is, uh, we, we did not test the good level. We just looked at the triglycerides. Triglycerides, yeah. 他们后面还在看那个甘油三酯的那个指标，他的甘油三酯的指标也是降低的。然后甘油一般来说，我们都知道，呃，为因为这个是跟他们前面的那个好那个坏的胆固醇的那个呃那个降低也是有益，因为那
um, so that, yeah. but that you Sounds were asking good, yesterday. Yeah. That's, yeah. But that's, uh, you know, that was with the older technology, though. And the new technology is way, way faster and far more effective. Uh, sorry. That's another one here. Uh, again, the measurements. They looked at insulin. So they hit the triglycerides again. You could see the triglycerides went down. So the, the triglycerides is, is consistent. We know that. Uh, How many treatments? How many treatments? How many treatments? This was 15. But with our with a new machine, with new technology, you can get this result within six, seven treatments. Much faster. This is the new one. This is not the new one. Yeah. Okay. We have a new one that just came out. Yeah. Okay, that is even this one is a little harsh. The new one, uh, we tried it, uh, you know, we just did the first training. So we tried it. Yeah, that's right. Well, yeah, it's not the new one. Much smoother. Yes. And the results were like, whoa. Mm -hmm. You know, in one second. We are now going to the next one. This is one treatment. You're gonna see this guy already started having six treatments. Yeah, he started uh, having, you know, you can ask. I showed you on my phone. This is uh, before and after. This is the before and after. The belly. Now you can see the belly. That's two treatments. What is the timeline between treatments? How long? How long? Two days. Two days. Two days. One treatment is two times. Uh, so yeah, how long is one hour? So one hour treatment. One hour treatment. So 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 Right. So here is what happens. Toxicity interferes with all our endocrinological system. What kind of toxicity? All toxicity. All toxicity. Cigarettes, smoking. Uh, breathing uh, Beijing air. No, but also the toxicity that your body will create anyway. Since that your body, all of your cells are like little people that they have the urea and they have the uh, toxins that leave the cells. They see that you that has to be excreted from the cells. Okay. Okay, so you want to translate that? Or? No, I can't. <laughs> okay, so toxicity interferes with the entire endocrinological system. So, so the body's toxicity, just from smoking, from eating, 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 Protein, um, well, hormones or proteins, leptin and prekin, which imbalance, their imbalance increases hunger. So the more toxic you are, the more hungry you are. Okay? So what happens is you have the hormonal imbalance leads to hunger, you eat more, you gain weight, the, the fat stores toxins, so you become more toxic, which makes you more hormonal imbalance. Now, what we found is that this technology does an incredible detoxification. No matter what else you have, this is going to be better. I can promise you. I know that. Okay, 
And we did a study on uh, blood flow and we have 19 subjects, with microscopic study. You have a microscope here. You can do that with all of your patients before and after. You're always going to see an improvement in the blood flow. This was um, uh, two weeks, six treatments. Okay. Two weeks, ah, two weeks, six weeks, six treatments, and but we had a microscope with us, and 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 we we saw a blood separation, not like this, but it went from here to here, for example, to the next level. Uh, 3,000, right? 1,300,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,
啲啊。因为平台那个，比如说呃，女性她年纪越来越大的话，她的性的需求就下降了。那呃，所以呢，如果做了我们的那个呃仪器的话，她就不会有这个问题了。Okay, and then basically there is other problems. The estrogen decline in women, there is bleeding and burning sensations for all of these reasons here. 那它也会影响，就比如说，呃，他们在呃交合的时候，那会有流血啊，或者是呃那个问题的，或者是感觉到呃很错热的感觉。Yeah, and also there is a lot of uh, uh, bacterial vaginosis. There's a lot of infections that they get. A lot of younger women get that. 对，很多时候都会有炎症，特别是年纪大了以后。And now we have the technology to basically increase. Desire, um, decrease the pain, and increase the sensation for women, which is why we call it empower women. 那我们的技术其实现在就是除了那个呃去减去那个呃 ，so pardon, repeat again. Three, one is one is increase the desire because of the blood flow. 这个性的需求。Okay. The second is is increase the sensation because the virtual gym can build the floor muscles of the pelvis. 对，因为它可以增加阴部的那个呃呃弹性，那所以变成它呃交呃交合的时候，那个。So increases orgasms for women, not just men, but also women. 不不一定是男性，它加强了性功能，女性也会关注的。You see these technologies, like uh, radiofrequency laser, what they do is create scar tissue. So it's good for the man, but it's not good for the woman. 那有时候呢，我们在呃市场上呢，看到好多就是帮助男性性功能提升。那对于女性方面，他们是忽略了。那我们这个仪器就可以把男跟女的都同步可以帮助他们。Yeah, we can make sex more satisfactory for for women in an older age. Because it builds the uh, uh, the skin of the vagina and also the muscles are getting reinforced at the lowest possible risk, and also deal with vaginal infection. I understand. I understand because I understand because I understand because I understand because I 然后这个仪器的最后的效果，它会增强它的解毒吗？我们也知道，他说女性一到了更年期这个阶段，她的刺激素水平是会降低的，所以这一块的新生活需求不是很好。然后她的她的这一块的，我们就知道子宫的黏膜会增厚的。他说通过这个仪器，它会加速她的血液循环，对男性对女性这是确实都有都有效果。然后它增加肌肉的时候，它的子宫的这一块就是很强的肌肉也会有增强，所以到最后，女性的这个性生活那个需求会好一点。嗯、他需要要什么八项啊？他就是就是给你说运动，那你怎么能够说？他是一个全项，他是全项眼睛肉的。十四款不同的运动。那个自动的运动我不知道，应该要做什么运动？现在有盆底肌，没错啦。对，因为他刚才有强调说，他是一开始是这个运动，这个都是要跟医生操作，怎么他需求哪个点？不会的，因为他的技术很聪明的，因为他这个是一个信号的技术，那所以呢，他在我们身体里面，他会自动的去调整一个合合适的去，哎，输入那个信息给我们身体。我我了解的意思是说，他是一次做这个就是这个疗程嘛，就这样说，他会有一百一百四十四种类型的运动在里面的。嗯，我也不知道彭强那个那个运动会不会在里面啊，我不太清楚。但是他说他对对对中年女性的那种效果会比较好一点。嗯，我理解这个意思，就是因为他会增加他的那个血液循环。他做的效果我也不太清楚啊。我觉得它是一次，我觉得它是一次性会有这种把你全身的那个运动这个功能做。感觉吗？在讲的是做一次就会有这种感觉吗？那你要看看你的那个长度是怎么样。对，因为你年纪大了以后，那你要看看你的长度。Yes, do you do you feel the same? This result. If you never know. 那如果你比较年轻的，你的修复力会比较强，那它会快一点。Depends how old you are. 
And what is the status of the vagina? 我问你一个问题啊，我问你一个问题，他做一次跟做疗程的差别在哪里？疗程的一次是做，做一次做十次是不是有增加效果？就是说，一个催眠。Let me ask, uh, what is the difference between a one time to ten times? Like, like, like a treatment and a therapy. Yeah, yeah. We say like, what's the difference? The 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 difference is with the with ten times the result is going to be far more robust than with one treatment, of course. You know, it's like what's the difference between uh, uh, dieting one day and dieting uh, ten days? Well,我记得他前面说了一句，他说，呃，他说你打算你在你在，他说你打算在运动健身房花多少时间？他说，如果你打算连一年的话，你要做十二次疗程，你要做一个疗程就是十二次嘛。他说，如果你打算在在健身房花两年，那你要做二十四次，才能达到一个效果。但是一次跟十二次，那肯定是有区别的。但我不知道一次的效果是不是会会更明显。对，大家可以体验一下。对，等一下。I think to say one more thing about that. This the. 它有两个是正常，一个是火箭，一个是应该是一个回忆疗。what kind of certificate do you have? If it's a medical device or it is just like a uh, like, uh, sports device? Well, uh, okay, it depends on the country. In the uh, United States, we made it into a medical device. Medical device. In England, we made it medical device for the continents, okay. a particular model. The rest of it, we have left it. The, you see, the, the trick with this technology is it has high effectiveness and low risk. Okay. Low risk makes it into a sports device, sports whatever device. you want to do it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, this is what I recommend you promote it as in China. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you're going to get it into the CFDA, okay. then you're going to get into a pain in the neck situation. So I recommend you use it like that. They're going to see the sports device, right? Sports device, as they are. Yeah. Not even aesthetic, sports device, because they do not control sports device. No, they control aesthetic device. What's that one? 他说他在FDA上面国他的人者是一个医疗器械他在UK就是他在英国他的人者不是医疗器械 这个政府不会管得很严所以他推荐应该在中国应该先用这样的然后看一看他的疗效 做，它其实一个培训过的培训师都可以处理的，因为它的风险是非常低的，因为它不会影响身体什么问题的嘛。You want you really want to use a sports device in China? Do not even go into the medical device area. It's 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 not clever. Do not do that for yourself. 我摸过我不是那种摸就是他的你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你